I've got a problem, and it's cloudy ice. 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 Why is my ice cloudy? It's just water. It should be really straightforward, right? I've read over the years you have to boil it, filter it, and all that, but it turns out it doesn't really matter. What matters most is that you freeze the ice from one direction. Should we go to the whiteboard? Whenever we freeze something at home in an ice tray, we kind of trap it in a little tiny vessel, and it freezes on all directions. Water will expand about 9 or 10% as it turns to ice. So you can imagine you have this little shell. It's liquid on the inside. And you still need to come up with 10% more volume as that water freezes, and it's got nowhere to go. And that's why glacier ice often is crystal clear. Lake ice is crystal clear. Icicles often hanging off the side of your roof, your gutter, they're crystal clear. Look at that gorgeous glacier ice. It's so clear you can't see it. What else can we say about ice? I feel like I should just show you how to make it, because this is going to be really exciting footage. Fill a cooler with water, put cooler in freezer. Oh, yeah. Then you shut the door, and you wait 24 to 48 hours. It's been 24 to 48 hours. My ice is frozen. One thing you don't want to struggle with is you, know, you take it right out of the freezer, and then you're just going to rip the ice out. It's a huge piece of ice. It's going to take a long time to melt, so you don't have to stress about it. We're not freezing it all the way. You freeze just the top, and you let it be liquid on the bottom, you know? This is a really nice example, the two layers. So I've got solid ice here, and then I've got a thin shell around here. See my finger going, that's all liquid. Get rid of the thin ice. You know, everyone's got these like fancy ice picks and all this sort of stuff. Cheap, cheap, cheap bread knife is like the best tool for this sort of thing. We've got a butte here. All this talk about ice is making me thirsty. You will love that. I would recommend really scoring all around, all each side. Whoa! Honestly, all I'm thinking about right now is milk wash punch. What you would do from here is you'd throw them on a tray and throw them right back in the freezer. You don't want to throw these in a Ziploc bag because what happens is they're just going to freeze to each other. What's that movie you always reference that you watch with your kids? Uh, Frost? Frozen. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the one you've seen 200 times already? Like a <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now that you have all this ice, what are you going to do with it? I know what I'm going to do with it. I'm all about the cocktail game. So I'll make a couple different versions of a few different classics for you. I'm not even going to teach you how to do it. I'm just going to make them and drink them. And you can watch me drink them. But I will show you how to make milk punch. It's going to be super, super good. It's one of my favorite drinks I've been making for a few years now. And I got the recipe pretty dialed in. Here we go. So I think we should get the bands out. These look like those old school paperweights. Densest water gets is about four degrees Celsius. Look at our invention. How do we get the ice to float right side up? 